Yogis and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, for today's practice, we will be focusing on the spiral lines of the body. So it's just imagine there's going to be a lot of twisting through the body. For today's practice, you'll probably just need a blanket for sensitive knees or a pillow. If you usually use a block in your twists, please grab a block. When you're ready, I want you to come to the back of your mat, just rolling over the fronts of the shins, coming into your child's pose. Come back into your child's pose, sit back through the hips, reach the fingertips forward. Taking long, slow, deep breaths in from the lower part of the belly, shifting the breath up to rib cage, chest, and heart. And I want you to just sway through the hips slightly. Everybody looking up between the thumbs. I want you to take three rounds of cat cow variations. As you inhale, tuck chin in towards collarbone. As you exhale, lower the belly, hips up, head up, draw the hips back towards the heels. Second round, inhale, so you draw forward. And as you exhale, lower the belly, hips up, head up, draw hips back towards heels. On your last round, I want you to inhale, slowly roll forward, tuck the chin, puff up through the shoulder blades. Exhale, slowly roll back, press the hips back towards the heels. Come back into your child's pose. Slide the fingertips all the way forward. Now, I want you to take two rounds on each side. So, so you come into your hip circle towards the right. Take two rounds and then very gently, as you press back, look over your right shoulder. Inhale, so you press forward. Move towards the left side. Inhale, slowly press forward. Look over towards your left shoulder. Press back through the hips. Look up between the thumbs. Inhale, slowly rock forward. Press into the balls of the feet. Come into your first downward facing dog. Pedal into the feet. Dip into the hips. Engage the muscles through the backs of the legs. Take an inhale. As you exhale, press the hips down towards the heels, down towards the mat. Press into the heel of the hands. Everybody take one long, slow, deep breath in. Exhale, open the mouth, sigh. Inhale, slowly, body roll all the way forward, come into your high plank, shift the shoulders beyond the fingertips. Draw the belly in and up towards the spine. Take an inhale. As you exhale, send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Second round, inhale, slowly, shift forward using force and speed, shift shoulders beyond the fingertips, draw the belly in towards the spine. Take an inhale. As you exhale, send the hips up and back, downward facing dog. This is your last round. As you inhale, now I want you to roll forward in a five count, moving super slow. So roll forward in five, four, three, two, one. Shift the shoulders beyond the fingertips. Take an inhale. As you exhale, option lower the knees or full chaturanga between the palms. Inhale, so you lift upward facing dog or cobra, take an extra breath. And as you exhale, send the hips up and back, come into your downward facing dog. I want you to press the heels of the feet into the mat. Take an inhale. As you exhale, reach your right hand towards the outer edge of your left ankle. Look underneath your left armpit. And I really want you to push into that left palm as you arch into the lower back. Keep looking beyond your left armpit. Now, if it's there for you to play, I want you to start reaching that right leg up. It doesn't matter if you fall. It doesn't matter if it doesn't go high. I want you to play with the sensation of balance for three, for two. Take an inhale. As you exhale, drop the right palm down, scorpion through the right foot, bend into the knee. Look over your left shoulder as you find your right heel. Take an inhale. As you exhale, take your right knee towards your left tricep. Just keep the left palm on the ground. Press against the left tricep. Hold here for three. Hold for two. Inhale, slowly reach the right leg all the way up towards the sky. Scorpion the foot, bend into the knee. Come into your wild thing preparation. So instead of going into your wild thing, I want you to stay on the ball of the right foot. Reach your right hand towards the right heel underneath the left thigh. So we're cinching it almost like a twist. Hold here for three. Hold for two. Inhale, press into the left foot. Come into your full wild thing variation. Arch through the heart. Stay here for three. Stay for two. Drop your right palm down. Take your right knee towards the left tricep. This time, lift the left hand up. Bring the left hand towards the right shoulder. Optional, hold this twist for three, hold for two. 
drop the left palm down last round inhale so you reach the right leg all the way up towards the sky scorpion the foot bend into the knee look over the left shoulder drop the right foot down reach the right hand towards the right heel as though they're going to touch they won't ever really keep this twist so you're cinching into that left side hold for three hold for two press the hips up come into your full wild thing stay here for three stay for two look towards your left palm i want you to slowly reach the right foot you're going to step towards the top of the mat in three two one reach the right arm forward slow pulse for seven six five four three two one sink into the hips reach that right arm forward take an inhale as you exhale lower the left knee down hip stretch blade edge of your right foot reach that right arm behind you look towards your right thumb sink into the hips take an inhale slowly lift up i want you to drop the right palm down left tricep outer edge of right thigh twist and come down so now look beyond your right shoulder hold here for three hold for two take an inhale as you exhale lower the left butt cheek down lower the right knee down left hand goes behind the back inhale reach the right arm up flex the left toes up as you exhale reach for the outer edge of the left foot pull back look beyond your left shoulder stay here for three stay for two take an inhale as you exhale perhaps slide it down bring your right ear down towards that left knee as you flex the left toes up stay here for three stay for two inhale so you lift the chest up i want you to come back to your twisted skandhasana so right palm comes down left tricep towards the outer edge of the right thigh stay here for three keep the twist keep resisting with this elbow into the right knee stay for two take an inhale as you exhale drop your left foot down slide the right leg out come into your fallen triangle reach the left hand up towards the sky open up across the chest and the heart take an inhale as you exhale left tricep as though you're going to tap that right thigh feel the twist hold for three hold for two inhale so you reach up second round left elbow towards right tricep twist through the left foot hold here for three hold for two inhale so you lift up expand through the heart as you exhale i want you to bend into the left knee and really lean all the way back towards that left heel lower the butt down take your right hand to the front of the left ankle reach your left hand towards the outer edge or beyond the right toes tuck the ear down towards the knee now if you're not reaching the foot here you can just look up towards the left armpit and pretend to reach it's all an energetic experience take an inhale as you exhale drop the left knee down keep the left hand reaching towards that right big toe right hand goes behind you look beyond the right shoulder twist stay for three stay for two inhale so you look forward sweep that right hand lift the left knee up catch the front of that ankle and now i want you to hold here for seven take an inhale as you exhale very gently release the left hand from the right toes sit the left knee down rotate towards the top left side of the mat come onto the ball of the right foot preparation of pigeon bring the hands next to the hips notice that my right knee is off the mat pressing into the ball of that right foot keep the hands next to the hips squeeze the shoulder blades together open up across the chest and the heart now this is quite intense on your right hip flexor it's supposed to feel that way lengthen through the spine stay for three stay for two press your left palm down come onto the ball of the right foot twisted skandhasana keep this twist resistance look beyond your left shoulder hold for three hold for two lower the left knee down rotate the hips again press into the ball of the foot press into the fingertips squeeze into the shoulder blades open up across the chest and the heart take an inhale exhale very gently lower the right knee down lift the right heel up catch the front of the right heel with the left hand reach the right arm up now if you're reaching the right arm up makes you lose balance just keep the right palm down from here wherever you're at i want you to hold for three two one take an inhale as you exhale slide the right arm down draw the heel in towards the butt point through the toe this is quite an intense stretch i want you to hold here for three two one inhale so you flex the foot lift up again hold here for three two 
one, exhale, slowly slide down. This time we're gonna hold for five. So point through the toes. This, just find your space in this pose, slowly, gently. If you hold any resistance, it actually feels a lot more intense. So just try to ease into the sensation. So take an inhale. As you exhale, very gently release the left hand from the front of the right shin. And I want you to sweep that right heel very gently in front of the left shin. Take the hands next to the hips. And naturally, your right foot is closer towards, the, take your right foot towards the top left of the mat, left foot towards the back right, adjust as you need. Now, I want you to take your left tricep, bend into your right knee, left tricep to the outer edge of your right thigh, bring the palms together. Now you're in an awkward prayer position. I want you to very gently lean into your right leg, bend into the right knee, drag the left leg to straight. And if it's there for you, float it up, point through the toes, lean forward, going for sensation more than anything else. Stay for three, stay for two. Take an inhale. As you exhale, drop the left foot down, drop the left knee down, extend the arms out, come into your revolved low lunge. Now this is where you might need to pop a blanket under the knee. Extend the arms out, press into the ball of that left foot. Take an inhale. As you exhale, keep the hands in a fist. Reach the right fist down towards the left ankle. Arch through the heart. Tuck the chin. Lean back. Stay here for three. Stay for two. Take an inhale. As you exhale, bend into the right knee. Arch through the heart. Lift the chin up. As you exhale, come into your revolved low lunge. Reach the right arm forward. Now I want you to engage into that inner right edge so that you're feeling this as a twist. Bend into the right knee. Look beyond your right armpit. Hold here for three. Hold for two. Release the right arm back. Revolve low lunge. Take an inhale. As you exhale, reach the right fist towards the back of the left ankle. Tuck the chin. Tuck the pelvis. Straighten through the right leg. Take an inhale. As you exhale, bend into the right knee, lift the chin up slightly so that you feel this in the left hip flexor. So that's what we're trying to engage. Bend into the right knee. Shift your gaze. Good. And then bring the left fist forward, revolve to low lunge. Bring the right arm, keep it the fist. Keeping the fist. Take an inhale. As you exhale, bring that left hand underneath the right thigh. Come into a revolve press. So your prayer is happening to the outer edge of the right thigh. Press onto the ball of that left foot. I want you to lean forward, take the weight into the right leg, float the left leg up super, super slow. And if it's there for you, bend into the knee, reach the hands behind the back, step the left foot next to the right forward fold, interlace the fingers, tuck the chin. As you look towards the knees and hug the lower part of the rib cage to the tops of the thighs, take an inhale. Exhale, press the fingertips further behind you. Inhale, bend into the knees, take your left tricep to the outer edge of the right thigh, come into your revolved prayer. Watch that one knee is not poking in front of the other, bring the thumbs towards chest center, look beyond your right elbow. Drop the left fingertips down, extend it out. This is where if you need a block, you can use a block. Keep the twist, look up towards your right thumb or towards the right if you have any issues with the neck. Stay for three. Stay for two. Inhale, slowly cartwheel the hands behind you. Left hand to the back of the right thigh. Look over your left shoulder. Find your, now listen carefully, your right heel with your right eyeball. Keep that hold for three, two. Take an inhale. As you exhale, cartwheel the hands all the way down, forward fold. Inhale, half a look up, lengthen through the spine. And as you exhale, step or jump back, high plank. Chaturanga, hold. Inhale, slowly lift upward facing dog or cobra. Take an extra breath. And as you exhale, send it up and back. Downward facing dog. Good. Now from here, we're going to start the exact same way. I want you to take an inhale. As you exhale, reach your left hand towards the outer edge of the right ankle. And I want you to push it to the heel of the right arm. And really, you pressing up, you arching into the spine, reaching the spine towards the ceiling. I want you to hold here for three, for two. Now, if it's there for you, start floating that left foot up. Doesn't matter how high, doesn't matter if you fall. This is what the experience is, whether you're on or off the mat. And I want you to just play with the sensation for three, for two. Take an inhale. As you exhale,
exhale, drop the left palm down, look over your right shoulder. So scorpion lift with bend into the knee. I want you to find that left heel over your right shoulder. Press into your right, right heel down towards the mat, lengthen through the right leg. Take an inhale. As you exhale, take your left knee towards right tricep, cross body. Feel into the cinch on the left side. Inhale, so you reach the left leg all the way up and back. I want you to drop the left foot down. Reach the left hand towards the left heel. So you're cinching into that side, feeling the twist. Hold for three. Hold for two. Inhale, so you reach up, come into your full wild thing. Take an inhale. As you exhale, drop the left palm down. Very gently, this time, I want you to take the right tricep outer edge of left thigh. Option to extend the heel out, option to not. Hold here for three. Hold for two. Very gently, send the left leg all the way behind you. Drop that left foot down. Reach with your left hand. So you're sitting into the hips. Reach for your left hand for the left heel. Keep pressing through the right arm. Come into your full wild thing. Arch through the heart. Lift up. Stretch it out. Now look down towards your right palm. We're going to step the left foot to the top of the mat in three, two, one. Land the left foot. Reach the left arm forward. I want you to pulse here super slow for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Sink into the hips. Reach that left arm forward. Press into the ball of that left foot, right foot. Take an inhale. As you exhale, lower the right knee down. Come onto the blade edge of that left foot. Reach behind you. Lift up and out of that right palm. Take an inhale. As you exhale, I want you to very slowly drop the left palm down, come into your twisted skandasana. So really push your right tricep into the outer edge of that left thigh. Inhale again. As you exhale, lower the hips down. Drop the left knee down. Reach the left hand towards the outer edge of the right foot. Press the right fingertips down, look beyond the right shoulder. Hold the stretch as you flex the toes up. If you're not reaching toes, just Grabbing hold of any part of the leg. Sensation is to flex. Hold for three. Hold for two. Take an inhale. As you exhale, very gently fold. Bring your left ear down towards the right knee. Reach the right fingertips further behind you. Flex the toes up. Stay here for three. Stay for two. Inhale, slowly lift up. I want you to press back. Come into your hip stretch position. This time, if it's there for you, kick the right shin up, kick the right heel behind you as you arch through the heart just a little bit more. If not, you can just keep the shin down. Stay here for three. Stay for two. Take an inhale. As you exhale, lower the right shin down. Drop the left palm down, come onto the blade edge. Sorry, drop the left palm up, down, bring the right tricep to the outer edge of that left thigh. Keep the twist in your twisted skandhasana. From this position, look in front of you. I want you to push into the left palm, slide the left leg up, come into your fallen triangle, reach the right arm up. Take an inhale. As you exhale, you, I want you to crunch your right tricep towards the left thigh and lower, so we're lowering down towards the ground. Inhale, so you lift up. And as you exhale, bend into the elbow, reach tricep towards the left thigh. In the inhale, so you reach up. And as you exhale, this time, I want you to bend into the right knee, press the hips towards the heel, take a seat. Take your left hand towards the front of the right ankle and reach your right arm towards the outer edge or beyond the left toes. We're just gonna hold you as you pull and twist, option to use a strap, option to reach beyond the foot. You're gonna stay here for three, stay for two. Take an inhale. Now, nothing moves, the right arm stays as it is. Drop the right knee down, weave that left hand behind the back. Drop the left hand behind the back, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Look beyond your left shoulder, stay for three, stay for two. Inhale, so you look forward. Keep the right hand as it is, weave the left arm, lift the right knee up, catch, bring the head underneath. And we're here for a longer hold, seven long, slow, deep breaths, just as you work into the stretch. Find some depth, find stability in the breath. Good, inhale. 
inhale, slowly, slowly lift up. I want you to very, very gently drop the right knee down, turn the hip over, come into your preparation of pigeon. Walk the hands closer to the hips, press onto the ball of that left foot, float the left knee up, squeeze the shoulder blades together so that we've got alignment through the spine. Hold here for three, hold for two. Take an inhale, as you exhale, Drop the right palm down, left tricep to the outer edge of the right thigh. Look beyond your right shoulder, hold for three. Hold for two. Take an inhale as you exhale, lower the right knee down, press into the ball of that left foot, float the knee up, squeeze the shoulder blades together, open up across the chest and the heart. Stay for three, stay for two. Take an inhale. As you exhale, lower the knee down, press the heel up, opposite hand to the front of the ankle. Now option, drop the left hand in front of you. Keep kicking the shin away from you to maintain balance. So that's how you maintain balance if you wanna reach the arm up. You have to kick into that right hand. If this is not working for you, you don't have to use a hand on the back. Shin, hold here for three, two, one. Take an inhale. As you exhale, point through the toe, draw the heel in towards the groin. I know two sides are even. And I want you to reach that left arm forward, hold here for three, hold for two. Inhale, slowly lift up, flex the foot back. And as you exhale, point through the toe, slide the arm down, draw the heel in towards the groin. Stay here for three. This is our longer hold actually, so we're here for five. Again, just being gentle with the body, this is quite an intense stretch. If holding here is not working for you, just release the hand in the back. Ankle for two. Good. Take an inhale. As you exhale, very gently release the left shin down. Reach the, arm, the left arm towards the body. Bring the left heel in front of the right shin. Take the hands next to the hips, press up. Now, naturally your legs are on a diagonal, so just walk that left foot to the top right and right foot towards the back left. From this position, I want you to bend into the left knee. Take your right tricep towards the outer edge of the left knee. Bring your thumbs to chest center. As you bend into that left knee, I want you to very gently bring that right leg to straight. And if it's there for you, float it up. Take an inhale. As you exhale, drop the right foot down, lower the right knee down, staying on the ball of the right foot. Extend the arms out into a revolved low lunge, press into fists. Take an inhale. As you exhale, straighten through the left leg, left fist towards the right, back of ankle, tuck the chin, tuck the pelvis. Good. Bend into the left knee, lift the chin up more. Good. And then as you exhale, reach the right arm forward. Then bring the left arm above. Keep this twist sensation. So keep pressing the right forearm forward. Bend into that left knee. Good. Inhale, slowly open up. Straighten through that left leg. Arch, tuck through the pelvis and tuck through the chin. Good. Bend into the left knee. Just hold this position. Lift the chin. Good. And then bring that right fist forward. Left arm comes forward. Keep the twist sensation. Hold for three. Hold for two, reach your right arm underneath your left thigh, bring the palms to chest. So on the outer edge of the thigh, <clears throat> from here, press into the ball of the right foot. Now I want you to lean forward. So lean into your, bend into the left leg more. Float the right toes up. Maintain your balance, hold here for three. Hold for two, keep the hands together, extend them out behind your standing leg. Step the right foot in. Interlace the fingers, Kali Mudra, tuck the chin, nose to knee. Take an inhale. As you exhale, fold deeper, reach further. On your next inhale, bend into the knee, sweep your right tricep to the outer edge of the left thigh. Bring the palms to chest as you rotate. Watch the knees. Look beyond your left elbow as you squat into your chair, revolved chair. Take an inhale. As you exhale, drop the right fingertips down, left fingertips up towards the sky. Hold, keep this twist. Your next inhale, cartwheel the hands behind the back, right hand towards the back 
of the left thigh. Your left eyeball finds your left heel over the shoulder. Hold for three. Hold for two. Inhale, slowly cartwheel the hands all the way down towards the mat. Inhale, half to look up, lengthen through the spine. And as you exhale, step or jump back, high plank, chaturanga. Inhale, slowly lift upward facing dog or cobra. Take an extra breath. Exhale, send it up and back, downward facing dog. Uh, sun salutation variation. Look up between the palms, slightly bending at the knees. Jump or step the feet towards the top of the mat. Inhale, half a look up. Exhale as you fold. Inhale, reverse swan dive, the arms coming all the way up. Exhale, bring the palms to chest. Inhale, slowly reach the arms coming all the way up. Exhale, reach the right hand towards the back of the left thigh. Look over the right shoulder. Inhale, slowly rise up, cartwheel the hands down. Inhale, half a look up, lengthen through the spine. Exhale as you step or jump back, chaturanga. Inhale, slowly lift up. Exhale, send it up and back, downward facing dog. Second round, look up between the palms, slightly bending at the knees. Jump or step the feet to the top of the mat. Inhale, half a look up. Exhale as you fold. Inhale, reverse, one down, the arms coming all the way up. Exhale, bring the palms to chest. Inhale, slowly reach the arms coming all the way up. Exhale, take the left hand towards the back of the right thigh. Lean, look over, find right heel, right eyeball. Inhale, slowly cartwheel the hands all the way down as you exhale. Inhale, half a look up. Exhale as you step or jump back, chaturanga. Inhale, slowly lift upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, send it up and back, downward facing dog. Coming into our last round. Look up between the palms, slightly bending at the knees. Jump or step the feet towards the top of the mat. Inhale, half a look up, lengthen through the spine. Exhale as you fold. Inhale, reverse one dive, the arms coming all the way up. Exhale, bring the palms to chest, very gently closing the eyes. Feeling the sensation bet shared between the fingertips. Everybody taking one long, slow, deep breath in. Exhale, open the mouth, sigh. Very gently peel the eyes open. Inhale, slowly reach the arms coming all the way up. Take your right hand towards the back of the left thigh. Slide down, look, find your left heel, left eyeball, lean back. Inhale, slowly lift up. Exhale as you cartwheel the hands down. Inhale, half a look up, lengthen through the spine. Exhale as you step or jump back, high plank, chaturanga. Inhale, slowly lift upward facing dog or cobra. Take an extra breath. Exhale, send it up and back. Downward facing dog. Good. This next round is going to start with a scissor switch. Now, if you don't feel comfortable doing a scissor switch, which I'm going to cue for, I just want you to step forward, come into your crescent lunge. So, if you're taking a scissor switch, I want you to inhale, reach the right leg up towards the sky, strong point through the toe. Come onto the ball of the left foot, bend into the left knee, reach the right leg all the way up. Drop the right foot down, left foot behind you, reach the arms up, create fists. Once you find your position, I want you to pulse here for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Sink into the hips, open up across the chest and the heart. Take an inhale. As you exhale, splice the arms left up, fist in front, right arm behind. Now I want you to bend into that left knee, straighten through the right, reach the right fist towards the back of that left leg, wherever you can reach, tuck the pelvis, tuck the chin. Good. And then from there, bend into the left knee, keep the fist, reach the right arm forward. Now look beyond your right arm, but bend into that right knee so you feel the twist. Second round, sweep the right arm behind you, Rural Crescent. Bend into that left leg more, straighten through the right, lean back, tuck the chin, tuck the pelvis. Good. Reach that left arm forward, bend into the right knee. Now, this round, as you reach the right arm forward, feel the twist through the inner edge here. So stay stable through here. Take an inhale. As you exhale, release the left arm underneath the right thigh. Bring the palms together into your revolved prayer position. Look down towards your right big toe. Keeping this position, all I want you to do is to play, float the left foot up. So just finding balance for three, for two, 
for one, take an inhale. As you exhale, drop the left foot down, unravel the arms, come into your warrior two, lengthen out through your stance. Now from here, I want you to press into the ball of the right foot. So lift up, drop down. Second round, lift up, drop down. Last round, press into the ball of the right foot. I want you to sink into the hip, hold here for three, hold for two, take an inhale. As you exhale, come back to your warrior two. Now, from here, just watch first before you do. We're going to shift, take the right tricep towards the outer edge of the left thigh, extend the arms down, come into a twist. Now, if you're not reaching the ground, just bring right tricep outer edge, hold here for three, hold for two. Bring the palms together, revolve prayer, thumbs towards chest, look beyond your left elbow, press into the ball of the right foot, hold here for three, Hold for two, look down towards your left foot. Bend into the left knee, you're gonna take the weight into that left knee, float the right foot up. I want you to hover this hold for three, two, one. Set the right foot next to the left. Revolve chair, watch the knees, watch your stance, tuck the belly in, look beyond your left elbow. Take an inhale, as you exhale, option one, twisted squat, look beyond your left shoulder, so you're on the balls of the feet. Option two, your side crow, plant the palms, Lean the weight, so you're gonna lift the hips up, lean the weight on the outer edge of the right tricep, extend the legs out, whatever you've got, hold for five. Take an inhale, as you exhale, drop the feet down, come back to your revolt chair, thumbs to chest, take an inhale, as you exhale, lengthen the arms up. Keep the twist. Now this is where you can use a block. Look towards your left or left thumb. Now from here, you're gonna cartwheel the hands behind you. Right hand goes towards the back of the left thigh. Left eyeball finds left heel. Take an inhale. As you exhale, drop your left palm down. Perhaps step the feet back, drop the right palm down. See if you wanna take a handstand hop for variation. You can step or jump back into your chaturanga. Inhale, slowly lift up with facing dog or cobra. Exhale, send it up and back, downward facing dog. Going on the other side. Inhale, reach the left leg all the way up towards the sky, strong point through the toes. Come onto the ball of the right foot, bend into the right knee. Scissor switch or step the left foot to the top of the mat. Reach the arms coming all the way up, create fists. Find your stance. And once you do, we're going to pulse here for seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one, sink into the hips. Take an inhale. As you exhale, reach that right arm forward, reach that left fist behind. Bend into the right knee more, straighten through the left, reach that left fist behind, tuck the chin, tuck the pelvis, lean back. Good, inhale, so you reach the right arm forward, and from there bring the left arm forward. Keep this twist sensation. Good, sweep that left arm behind you. From there, bend into the right knee, straighten through the left, lean back, tuck the chin. From there, reach the right arm forward, bring the left arm to meet it, keep this twist, keep pressing the right forearm forward, stay for three, stay for two, take an inhale. As you exhale, reach the right arm underneath the right thigh, left palm to meet, look down towards your left foot. I want you to take all of the weight into that left foot, left knee, Float the right toes up. Take the sensation, hold here for three. Hold for two, take an inhale. As you exhale, drop the right ball of the foot down. Sweep the arms up, come into your warrior two. Lengthen out through the stance. Press into the ball of the left foot, inhale. Exhale, slowly lower down. Press it up. Very gently press down. Last round, press into the ball of the foot, lengthen up through the arms, sink into the hips. Good, and then very gently press the heel down, sink deeper into the pose. From there, take an inhale. Now we're gonna come into our revolve press. So as you rotate towards the front, take your left tricep to the outer edge of the right thigh. Option, lengthen up through the arms, use a block, reach the right arm up, push into the ball of that left foot, hold here for three. Hold for two. Take an inhale. As you exhale, very gently bring the palms together. 
a chest center. Press again into the ball of that left foot. Look down towards your right big toe, bend into the right knee. I want you to float the left toes up off the mat. Maintain your balance, equanimity of the mind. Take an inhale. As you exhale, step the left foot next to the right, revolved chair. Keep the twist, watch the knees. Shift your gaze. From your revolved chair, now you have the option to drop the hands, fingertips down, come into your revolved toe squat, or you can come into your, come into your side crow, leaning down, chaturanga through the elbows, extend the legs out, see if it's there for you. Hold here for five, for three, Inhale, as you exhale, drop the feet down. From this position, press back into your revolved prayer. Left tricep outer edge of right thigh, thumbs towards chest center. Drop the left fingertips down, extend all the way up, watch the knees, keep the twist. Look up towards right thumb if you can. Take an inhale. As you exhale, I want you to sweep the left hand towards the back of the right thigh. Right eyeball finds the back of the right heel. Press the hips forward. Take an inhale. As you exhale, you might actually have to step back on the mat. Cartwheel the right hand down. Drop the left hand down and then from there you can sweep the left leg up into your standing split or you can just step back, chaturanga. Inhale, so you lift upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, send it up and back, downward facing dog. Everybody taking one long, slow, deep breath in. Exhale, open the mouth, sigh. Good, very gently lower the shins down towards the mat. Bring the hands to the tops of the thighs. Just want you to take five long, slow, deep breaths. Everyone taking your last one, slow deep breath in. Exhale, open the mouth, sigh. Very gently peel the eyes open. Good. Inhale, slowly shift forward into your tabletop. Exhale, send it up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, reach the right leg all the way up towards the sky, strong point. You're either going to scissor switch or step the right foot to the top of the mat. Reach the arms coming all the way up, create your fist. Sink into the hips. Here we're going to pulse slow for five, four, three, two, one. Sink into the hips. Open up across the chest and the collarbone. Take an inhale. As you exhale, reach the right arm behind. Bend into the knees. Good. From here, straighten through the right leg. Bend into the left. Reach the right fist towards the back of the left calf. Hold for three. Hold for two. Bend into the right knee. Reach the arm forward. Revolve crescent. This time, bring the right arm, keep looking, keep this twist sensation, hold here for three, hold for two. From here, take your left tricep towards the outer edge of the right, reach the arm behind you, keep this twist, press hard into the ball of that left foot, hold for three, hold for two. Bring the palms towards chest center, sink deeper into this posture. Now, this is where, again, we're going to take it a little bit deeper. So your options are, you can stay palms at chest, hands extended out, or take the bind. Now, for anyone who takes the bind, I want you to stay with the bind. For anybody who takes anything else, I will cue you. So I want you to keep staying here, press into the ball of the left foot, hold here for five, four, three, two. Inhale, slowly look forward. Now, if you have anything other than the bind, I want you to bring the palms back to chest center. So I'm gonna show you both. If you've got the bind, I'm gonna show the bind first. Look down towards the right foot. I want you to lean forward, keep the bind. I want you to start playing with floating the left foot up. Play for three, two, step the left foot forward. And then as you do so, come onto the ball of the right foot. Lift the thigh towards the chest. Extend the right heel out. Look towards the right shoulder. Hold for five, for three, two.
two. Now for anyone else, if you had, I have to show you from anything else, if you had palms at chest, if you stay here or here, bring palms back to chest, step, float forward again, hold, step the left foot next to the right, float the ball of the foot up, and then from here, extend the right heel forward, and again, you'll hold. And then from there, everyone, extend the right heel back, drop the right hand down, reach the left hand all the way up towards the sky. Revolve half moon. Revolve half moon. Very gently drop the right foot down behind you. And we're going to lift all the way up, come into your twisted skandhasana. Press back into the heel. Look beyond your left shoulder. Really press into that left heel. Sorry, look beyond your right shoulder. Stay here for three. Stay for two. Drop the left palm down. Bend to the left leg, straighten through the right, tuck the chin. As you drag that left knee behind the right, take a seat. You in your twisted position. So your option one is take the right hand behind the back, left tricep to the outer edge of the right thigh, keep your twist. Option two is to interlace the hands, take your bind, look beyond your right shoulder. And your option three is to take your arm balance. So I just need to make space. Um, I'm going to spin around because you can't see from that way. But so if your bind option was here, if you're going to take your arm balance, your left tricep comes to the outer edge of your right thigh. Lean forward, very gently extend the legs out. Whichever option you've got, I want you to hold here for five, four, three, two, one, take an inhale. As you exhale, very gently cross the legs. I'm going to spin back to the side, which I was on. So very gently untangle, unwind. Take the hands next to the hips, press into the feet. Right foot is close to the top left. Left foot is towards the back right. Take your left hand to the outer edge of the top foot. Peel the right hand up towards the sky. This is quite an intense twist. Look up towards the right thumb. Hold, press the legs to straight. You can use your block under your left hand. Take an inhale. As you exhale, option to stay here, option to reach your left hand, the front hand, towards the back foot. Keep this twist, deepen it. Or if you're not reaching the foot, grab the calf or the knee. Stay here for three. Stay for two. Take an inhale. As you exhale, bring your left hand back to the top of the mat. Bend into the right knee, left tricep towards the outer edge of the right thigh. Bring the palms to chest. Bend into that right knee a little bit more. Find that balance. I want you to float that left foot up, point through the toes, hold here for three, hold for two. Take an inhale as you exhale, step the left foot next to the right, bend into the knees, drop the left fingertips down, reach the right hand up, keep the twist. Take an inhale and as you exhale, cartwheel the left hand behind the back, stretch it out, hold here for three. Hold for two, cartwheel the hands. You might need to step back, so I keep stepping back because I'm coming off the mat. Cartwheel the hands down, right hand comes down, left palm comes down, reach the left leg up towards the sky. I want you to play with your handstand hops. Take three handstand hops, and then when you're done, you can step or jump back. Chaturanga, inhale, slowly lift up with facing dog or cobra. Exhale, send it up and back. Downward facing dog. Just take your time. Good, and then when you're ready, we're going on the other side. So inhale, so you reach the left leg all the way up towards the sky, strong point through the toes. Come into the ball of the right foot, bend into the right knee. So there's a switch or step, left foot towards the top of the mat. Inhale, so you reach the arms coming all the way up, create your fist, sink into the hips. So pulse here for five, four, Three, two, one, sink into the hips, open up across chest and heart. Take an inhale. As you exhale, reach the right arm forward, left arm behind. From here, bend into the right knee, straighten through the left, reach that left fist behind you, arch through the heart. From there, bend into the left knee, arms come out. Good, reach that left arm above. I want you to really feel into the twist to press the right forearm forward, take an inhale. As you exhale, right tricep, outer edge of left thigh, sweep the arms behind you so that you're pressing into a deeper twist. Hold for three, hold for two. Bring the palms to chest center, arrange thumbs towards chest. 
Now again, we're going to take this deeper. So option one, stay here. Option two, stay here. Option three, take your bind. Now I showed you on the other side so you know what's coming. I want you to stay, hold here for five. Hold for four. Three. Two. Inhale, slowly look forward. So I want you to just slowly, slowly inch forward, bend into that left knee more. Find your stance, find your balance. Float the right foot up, hold here for three. For two. Take an inhale. As you exhale, step the right foot next to the left. Whichever bind you have, so even if it's just panzer chest for world prayer, float the left ball of the foot up, left thigh in towards the chest, send the left heel forward. Remember, if you had panzer chest, that's your option. Hold here for three. Lengthen up through the spine for two. Pay attention to your standing leg. Take an extra breath. As you exhale, release whatever bind you had. Drop the left palm down, reach the right arm up. Flex the toes down, we're all half moon. How good is it to breathe? When you're out of a bind, take an inhale. As you exhale, drop the ball of the left foot down. You're gonna wind the arms back. Come into your twisted skandhasana. So press onto your right heel, right tricep, outer edge of left thigh, look beyond your left shoulder. Stay here for three, stay for two. Take an inhale, drop the right palm down, bend into the right knee, straighten through the left leg, tuck the chin. Look towards the left big toe, slide your right knee behind the left, take a seat. Right tricep towards the outer edge of the left thigh. Press your left hand behind you, so option one. Option two, take your twist, lengthen through the spine as you shift your gaze. Option three, again the arm balance, so Right tricep goes to the outer edge of the left thigh as you lean forward, take the weight, extend the legs out, hold for five, for three. Take an inhale. As you exhale, cross back, come into your seat. Release the arms. Just look at your feet. Press the hands down next to the hips. Press into the feet. And as the legs are crossed, Take your right hand, you can use a block, outer edge of the left foot, peel the left hand up towards the sky. Long, slow, deep breath. Good. Now, if you wish to deepen this, you can option one, stay here. Option two, reach your right fingertips towards the left toe. Straighten through the legs. Take an inhale. As you exhale, bring the right hand back, bend into the left knee, right tricep towards the outer edge of the left thigh, bring the palms to chest. I want you to float the left foot back to straight. Get some hang time, hold here for three, hold for two. Take an inhale. As you exhale, drop the right foot next to the left, bend into the knee for roll prayer. Reach the right fingertips, outer edge of the left foot, look up. Good. Take an inhale. As you exhale, cartwheel the hands back, right hand back up, left thigh. Look towards your left ankle. Take the stretch. Good. Take an inhale. As you exhale, perhaps stepping back just slightly, cartwheel the hands down. Left hand comes down first, right hand comes down last. Option to take three handstand hops or take a handstand hold or just simply step or jump back into your chaturanga. Just play with it, whatever whoop, you're feeling. Good, and then when you're ready, slowly lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, slowly lift upward facing dog or cobra. Exhale, send it up and back. Inhale, so you reach the right leg all the way up towards the sky. Scorpion the foot, bend into the knee. Bring the right knee behind the right wrist. Come into your preparation of pigeon. Press the hands next to the hips. Press into the ball of the left foot. Lift the left knee up, so actively pressing it away. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. Arch of the heart. Stay here for three. Stay for two. 
Take an inhale. As you exhale, lower the left knee down. Reach the left arm towards the right knee. Take the right hand, weave it behind the back. Option, tuck it into the left hip crease. If it's there for you, reach for your right big toe. Now, if you notice that, so naturally as you reach for the toe, the hip tends to roll up. It's important that you press the hip down. If that's just too much, just keep the bind tucked into the hip and taking five long, slow, deep breaths. Carefully lift up very gently. Take your left knee on top of the right, stack into your Gomukhasana. Knees stacked on top of one another, lengthen through the spine. Take your right tricep towards the outer edge of the left thigh. Option if you stay on palms, look beyond your left shoulder. Option two if you can, lower down into forearms. Tuck the chin in for some introspective breathing. Long, slow, deep breath. Allow the head to hang without any resistance. Inhale, slowly lift up. Keep the left leg in front, right leg slides behind. Good, and then from here, I just want you to inhale, slowly reach the left leg all the way up towards the sky. Scorpion the foot, bend into the knee. Take your left knee behind your left tricep. So you lower down into your pigeon prep, ball of the right foot, hands next to hip, squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift up across the chest and across the heart. Stay here for three. Stay for two. Take an inhale. As you exhale, lower the right knee down. Sweep your right hand towards the left knee. Left hand tucks behind the back, either reaching for the left big toe and pressing the left hip back if it's lifting up. Otherwise, just tuck, tuck the left hand into the right hip crease. Allow yourself to rest into the body. Inhale, slowly, slowly lift up. Release the bind, bring the right knee on top of the left. Good, lengthen up. Take your left tricep to the outer edge of the right. Option if you're staying on palms, look beyond the right shoulder. Option two, lower the forearms down. Bring the palms down towards the mat, looking over the shoulder. <laughs> Sorry, if you're on the palms, you're looking over the shoulder. If you're on the forearm, tuck the chin, allow some introspective breath soften and let the head hang let it be heavy press into the palms so you lift up keep the bind through the legs keep the cross take both knees with the right leg on top over towards the left Look over to the right in your supine twist, extend the arms out, press the belly in towards the spine, so really squeeze everything in as you lengthen out. Good. Inhale, so you draw the thighs in towards the chest and just switch left leg on top of right as you cross. And again, here I want you to really draw the belly in towards the spine to lengthen out, press that left shoulder down. Good. Inhale, so you draw the thighs in towards the chest. Hug the knees, draw the nose in towards the knees, make a tiny ball out of the body. I want you to hold here for three, hold for two. Take an inhale, and as you exhale, release everything, come into your final Shavasana. Taking as long as you need to rest. 